Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi. Hello, good evening. Uh, hello, Veronica. How are hello, you? Oh, teacher, good evening. Oh, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Tell me, how are you? Fine. It's Friday. No, it's not Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Wellness. Wellness. Uh, it's it's Wednesday. What happened, Jorge? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay, Jorge? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's I think I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just wanna to be Friday right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It is, it is true. rainy. It is rainy. Uh, dear. Yeah, I was about I was about to ask you people, is it raining where you live in where you live right now? Yes, teacher. In La Union, it is raining too. No teacher. It's raining, it's raining, all right. They have they have declared the, the green alert. Have you seen it? Se ha declarado alerta verde, creo, de todo el país. Sí, están diciendo que probablemente van a haber lluvias estos días. Yes, uh, I was reading the, the uh, what can I say? Well, I was reading earlier today, and apparently it is going to be raining the whole night today. Yes, it's going to be raining the whole night. So, people, you have to be careful, all right? Okay, let's begin. Let me, what? Well, I cannot open, I cannot open any, anything right now. It is not working. Why? Why? Give me a second. Why though? Everything is working. Miren, no puedo abrir ninguna aplicación, no, ningún, nada puedo abrir. Le doy clic, pero no me abre. ¿Qué está pasando? What's going on? No, ok, ya funcionó. Wow. Estaba congelado. I think it is gonna rain over here soon. I can hear the 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 thunder right now, the thundering, and I can see the lightning. So I think it's gonna rain over uh, over here soon. All right, uh, people, excellent. Uh, thank you guys for always joining the session. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you all, and it's good to see you again. Yes. Yes, even though you look ugly, I, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> hey, I can smile more now. I can smile more. It was hard for me to smile on Monday and yesterday, but today I feel a little better. I'm using some uh, special wax uh, on the on the bracelets. So it's, it's working better. It's healing. And uh, I'm smiling more, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't like to be serious, you know. I do not like to be serious. And uh, on Monday and yesterday, I was like, like this. And not because I wanted to be like this, it's because I had to be like this. It was painful to smile or to even speak. Yes. I had a very, very difficult time uh, at school with the children. You have no idea. Yes. 
And it's because over there, you have to raise, you have to raise your voice. You have to raise your voice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm fine now. I'm getting, I'm getting better. Yes. All right. Let me take attendance, guys. Again, thank you for being here. Ana Victoria Galán. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Andy. Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander Rivera. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you. Excuse me. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Chiquito. Diana is not here. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Marvin Josué Cortez. Present. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Thank you, Mayra Paola Geraldine de Santa Maria. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel Sandra Yves Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. Verónica Lizeth Portillo. Present. And Yancy Andrea Solorzano Castro. Present. Yes. Thank you. All right. I was I was checking the platform today. I was checking your record. And uh there are three, two or three people that have not done anything yet yes i will not tell you who they are <laughs> i will text them privately today okay because i i i told you that i always update the the the, the grades every end of unit or session i like to update it yes yes and uh well and also, this is for you guys to avoid doing the whole or all, all the activities at the end. You know, you're gonna have many, many activities to do. So let's not. Well, let's let's avoid that to happen. Let me see. Let me show you what we're gonna be working on. I am sharing the presentation with you. Let me know if you see it. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Okay, today yes. we start the unit number three or session number three. This is number, uh, this is day number 11 or class number 11. All right. And the topic that we have for today, it is not a grammar topic. It's a vocabulary topic. It says describing issues. All right. Uh, do you know what an issue is? What's an issue? Excuse me? Issues, eh, se, no recuerdo si es asuntos o es situación o algo así. Yes, yes, exactly, Ryan, yes. It can be situations, okay, it can be problems, right? Situations or problems. Describing problems or describing situations, okay? But in this case, will be, I think it's better to say problems, okay? Describing problems. Uh, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be about machinery, okay? Problems with the machines, with the laptop, with the printer, with the photocopy machine, uh, with technology, all right? Yes. Let's begin. What are some common problems at the plant? And it says there, make a list. Let's go to the book. I do not like to work over here, so I for the book. I'm sharing the book with you guys. Do you see it? Yes, do you see it? 
Yeah, yes, teacher. teacher. All right. As you can see, it says there unit number three, travel, troubleshooting. Do you know what troubleshooting is? Como la solución del problema. Or los pasos que seguir. Yes, exactly. It's when you solve a problem, when you identify a problem, that's troubleshooting. All right? Yes. But let me show you, and uh, you will see the pronunciation as well. Over here, look. Troubleshooting. Yes. It can be a verb as well. Puede ser un verbo también. Okay, I said troubleshooting. Look, troubleshooting. No, well, I'm not Estados Unidos. But you, you will not see it. I mean, listen to it. See, you see? Problem solving. That was problem solving, you know? The solution to problems. Uh, When you identify the problem, all right? And as a verb, como verbo, resolve, okay? It's the same thing, all right? Yes. When you find a problem, when you identify a problem, that's what troubleshooting is. So the unit number three is going to be all about that. Yes, let's go back to the book. Look, I will be able to describe issues about machinery. I will be able to describe issues about machinery. Let's make a list. It says, the, it says here, what are some common problems at a plant? What are some common problems at a plant? Let's do this. Wait. Okay, we're going to do it together. I want you guys to share the common problems you have at your workplace. Of course, about machinery. Okay, there you go. What can you say? What can you say? Give me some ideas. The printer is not is not printing. Okay, the print. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. We're gonna have some ideas. What will happen? The printer is not printing. I hate that, right? You know, I am very, very lousy at uh, with the printers. I do not, I do not know how to use them very well. I always need assistance. Tiene que, no sé si es Zoom o soy yo que no no puedo usar estas cosas para no meter las cositas. Yeah. Let's see. You said the printer. Okay, the printer is not printing. What else? What else? A virus on the computer. Okay, let's see. We're going to write it down right down here. There is a virus. Uh, and uh, there is a virus in the computer system. All right. What else? What else? Um, when when the system we use the uh, we use the control orders goes down, teacher. In my workplace, right? Like the system is down. Yeah. Okay, the system and with the servers, etc. Okay, the system or server, the system, well, the systems or servers, it goes down, are down. Okay, yes. What else? What else? What else? Teacher, yes, these problems, these. Uh, the service down in my work is happiness with me. For me, sorry. Right now, right now? No, when when I work. All right, I understand. I understand. It it happens to me too. We uh, well, me Ned and uh, well, the government, they have uh, a system called CHES. 
and uh, well, that that system or that platform gives or uh, yeah, it has a lot of problems, like very constantly. Yes. Okay. What else can you mention? What else can you mention? What else can you mention? The AC is not working. All right. The AC. The AC is not working. All right, the AC is not working. Sad. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? The system is slow sometimes. Okay. The system is slow. The system is slow. What else? What else? Products without price. Repeat it, I'm sorry. Products without price. Mm. But we're talking cost. about machinery. Problems and, with machinery. Ah, problems with machinery. Uh -huh, and, with machinery, yes. Uh, and only the, the printer. Okay, what is the problem with the printer? Tell me. And printer no not not printing and it's... okay. Ataka. <laughs> okay. Yes, we got it here. Look, the printer is not printing. People, you can say printer, printer. You can you can uh, uh, omit the T. You can say printer or you can say printer. All right. Yes. What else? What else? Internet is down. Okay. The the why the internet connection. is down let's say the internet connection is down yes when the internet connection is down we enjoy life <laughs> we enjoy life what else we have two more two more examples i need two more examples two more problems What else? What else? Tell me, tell me. Marvin, can you can you repeat it? When you can hear when you heard something at all, when the audio is is not working very well. Uh I'm sorry, did you say the audio is not working? I think I think you're you're too close to the microphone and and uh, I cannot really comprehend what you're saying. It's ringing a lot. I think I, I will. Okay. I think maybe I will be like uh, oriented. All right, my, Marvin. Let me know. Okay, let me know. Let me know. Yes. Uh, I think I think he said the audio is not working. If the audio is not working, All right? One more, one more, guys. Can you mention one more? The computers don't function properly. Okay, the computers, the computers are, excuse me, are not working properly, let's say. Yes. The computers are not working properly. The All paper right. is a task. A I'm task. sorry? The paper is a, a task. Yeah. Yeah, paper in the printer. Miren que no, no me da la flechita. No sé por qué. Sí. <laughs> okay, the paper gets stuck so yeah okay the paper gets stuck all right yes okay we have we have some problems right over here about machinery you know yes we got it we got it thank you guys for helping me out now we're going to continue with the second part yes the second part let's go back to the book 
Yes. People pay close attention to the, the expressions that we have in bold. We do not have a grammar topic today. We have some expressions uh, about describing issues or problems with the machines or with the technology, okay? Yes. Let me read this conversation to you. You can ask me questions about the vocabulary, vocabulary later on, and then we will have some time to practice. Let me read. Hold on. All right. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of the on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once in once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And uh, what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay, there you go. That's the conversation. Question time. Any questions? No, we're good. Estamos bien. Teacher, what it mean complex? Complex. Complicated. Complejo. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. And it says, look, this is a complex machine, so maybe you... No, wait, wait. See, complex machines have a lot of components. It means that something complex is something complicated. Yes. Something complicated. What else? What else? How pronounce the words metal? Metal. Metal, metal. You can say metal, that's all, right? that's all, but it's not a metal, metal casing off. Yes. What else? Fortnite teacher. Fortnite. Well, that is 14 days, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. In Sena. That's what it is. Major. Veronica, come again. Minor fault. Minor, minor fault. Minor, okay, minor fault. It means it means uh, a very insignificant problem. Es como una falla menor. Is it like a issue? Yes, yes, but a minor, minor issue. Oh, a minor sorry. issue. Yes. What else? People, I'm happy today. I can smile. <laughs> yes. Finally. It's difficult not to smile, you know? <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Okay. If there are no more questions, I'm going to read again. Listen carefully. And uh, after that, you will have your chance to practice with one of your classmates or partners. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. And it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. Machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components, not components, okay? Components, components. I need to take a metal casing off to verify. I think it's to verify. I can't mean, it's a very. You only verify the solo, but it's a very. You know? I shall send you a chat. 
Ahí no es, no es very, ¿ok? No es very. Lo pondré en rojo para que vean que es un error. Ahí está. That's a mistake. A, a finger, finger mistake. Finger mistake. Or maybe the computer or the, the, the autocorrector. Yes. Again, yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. There you go. Remember, it's not very, okay? It's not very, it's very fine. Let's look at the Ahí está. Very. Uy, no se mira. There you go. Okay. I need two volunteers. Let's practice the conversation. Me, teacher. Okay, we got... We Me, got teacher. Brian. Okay, Brian and Jorge. Excellent. You, sir. Yeah. Okay. You are sorry, me. Thank you for. Hello? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone uh, reported a fault of fault all one of your machines. I will have a look at it. You're right. You know, if it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Uh, components. I need to take the metal casing of verify if it is a minor, minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to uh, speed things up. I recommend that check the the brushes on once uh for like to to make sure they're they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Okay, we will have to extend shoot. the shot. Yes. Uh let me see, let me help you out. Remember uh over here it's minor minor and uh shot la última shot thank you brian and jorge for your participation let's continue with two more people yes Hello. okay veronica and uh i can sure Okay, Ismael and Veronica. So, okay, thank you for okay. coming. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it make, makes a strange now, now it's now. It's, Nouns. Noise. Noise. This is a complex complex. Is right, teacher? Complex. Complex. Complex, yes. complex. complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal case enough to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. 
And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay, okay. We will have to extend the shot. Thank you, Veronica and Ismael. Let's continue with two more people. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Me, Who teacher. else? Kim Me, teacher. Marvin, can you do it? Yep. Okay, thank Marvin and Raquel, go ahead. Thank you. Thank, okay, thank you for coming, Dorian. Uh, no problem. Someone reporting a fall on one of your machines. I will have to look at. You are you are right. You know it does not work perfectly, and it makes a start target. No, it's, this is complex machine. So maybe you will need some some time. Uh, yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the middle case off to verify if it's a minor fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to, to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once after night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Okay, thank you, Marvin and Raquel. Remember components? Components. Yes, thank you, thank you both. Let's continue with two more people. People, go ahead. Me, teacher. Okay, Me Andy teacher. and, and Paola, okay? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you, Paola. Can you hear me? Me. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a fall one one of your ma of your machine. I'll have a look at a look at it. You're right. You know it does not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine had a lot of components. I need to take the mental casting of the verify verify if it is a minor fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed we need to speed thing up. I recommend check the brushes once a four fortnight to make sure they they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Ms. Santa Maria and uh, Mr. Martinez. All right. Excellent. Let's continue with two more people. Me, teacher. Okay, Sandra and Victoria. Okay. <laughs> Sandra. Start, Victor. Okay. Um, thank you for coming thank you for coming Dorian no problem someone report a fall on one of your machines I have a look at look at it you are right you know it, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise this is a complex machine so maybe you will need some time Yes, complex machine have a lot of component. I need to take the metal casing off to verify it is a minor fault or what. I understand. And if that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happened if they are? We will have to send a shot. Right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Remember, over here is components, and over here is minor, minor and components. And you have to pronounce. You have to pronounce the the ed over here. Reported, reported. 
right? Reported. Let me see. Yes, we got it. We got it. All right. Thank you, Anna and Sandra, for your participation. Let's continue with two more people. We're missing Diana. We're missing uh, Carlos Eliezer. We're missing Heriberto, Sara, Mayra, I think. Okay, okay. Diana, and uh, who else? King Mas. Me, teacher. Okay, let's go with Alejandra and Jamilet. Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming, Doria. Uh, no problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have, I, I will have a look at it. You are right. You is not, it doesn't not work perfectly. Uh, it makes uh, a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so, so maybe you we need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of component components. I need to take the metal casing of the ver of to verify it if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Right. Thank you both. Thank you both. Let's continue with uh, two more participants. Let's try with Heriberto and uh, Mayra. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machinery machines. I have a look at it. You are right. You know it does not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need to talk to the metal case enough to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is in the, in the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend to check the brushes on phones or Fortnite to make sure they are not down. And what happened if they are? Uh, we will uh, have to extend to shut the shot. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you, thank you guys for that one. Let's continue with the last two people. Sara and Carlos Eliezer, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, teacher. Okay, Carlos and uh, Sara. Can you hear me? Okay. Hey. Uh, me, Ramon. I am Ramon. Mm, no sé si me escuchan. Estaba hablando ahí. I can hear you now. Hoy sí le escuchamos. Okay. That you for coming, Doria. Um, okay, thank you for... Uh, ya, ¿Quién empieza? Lo, lo siento. <laughs> ah, no that, 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 that. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a foul. No one of you marching. I will have a look, look at it. You are right. You know, it does not score properly and it makes a stranger noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of complements. Components, or I need to take the metal casing of to verify there is a minor foul or what. I understand. Here of the case, we we need to speak thing up. I recommend check the brushes. 
one of one of Fortnite to make sure they are not down. Um what happen happens in if they are they are we, they are we, we will have to extend the shop. We will have to extend the shot. Thank you, Carlos and Sara, and thank you everyone for your participation. You did it very well. Now, we're going to continue down here with the part number three. In part number three, we have a couple of questions. I'm not sure how many questions there are. Let me see. Okay, two of them. It says, the indication says, can read the questions about the conversation, then write the answers. All right, let's see. First question, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Seems. ¿Cuál parece? Okay, ¿cuál parece? That is seems. ¿Cuál parece ser? Okay. And what recommendation does Dorian give? People, let me give you two minutes to answer the questions. Go ahead. Two minutes. Let me make this smaller so that we can see the conversation and the questions at the same time. There you go. You can see the conversation and you can see the, the, the questions. Go ahead. Two minutes. I'll bring some, some water right now. Oh, give me a second. If you have any questions, let me, let me know, I'm here. Okay, number one, number one. Let me see, let me choose a person. Mayra, go ahead, read the question and give me your answer. Okay, teacher. What seems to be the problem with the machines? Uh, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. Okay, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. Everyone, do you agree with Maida? Yes, yes I agree. Yes. Okay, we all right, agree. We, we agree, right? We agree. Excellent, excellent. The second question, let me see, let me choose a person. Andy, you're the winner. Go ahead.
Hello, teacher. Can you hear Hi. me? Yes, I can hear you. And the second, the second question is, uh, Dorian recommended brushing the, the machine. Okay. Mm. Well, kind of, kind of, you kind of guy. All right. Uh, thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Yes. The, he mentioned about, about brushing, right? About checking, checking. Yes. All right. Yes. There it is right. Here, where is it? Uh, okay. okay, there you go. This is the one. Okay, Dorian recommends checking. All right, that's a. Uh... Hold on, three. And... Yes. I'm sending something in the chat. Okay, there you go. I just sent some information to the chat about the verb recommend. Well, that we use it with infinitives and gerunds, but I would I would use it with a gerund. It sounds better with the gerund. I recommend checking. Yes. Okay, recommend checking over there. All right, so Dorian recommends checking the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. Excellent people. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No questions? No question, teacher. Teacher. It's clear, right? Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Now, let's continue with the part number four. It says that we got some expressions for describing issues. Expressions for describing issues. We have this expression, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it, that's not, that's not describing the issue. This one is, this one is, this one maybe. So checking the brushes now. Yes. All right. Let me help you out with this one. We already saw this information back there in the conversation, but let's see what they are. People, what does I have a look at it mean? Do you understand it? Do you understand I'll have a look at it? Hello. No sé, si, no sé si estará correcto, pero sería como dar un vistazo. Exact, exactly, exactly, yes. Exactly, yes. Okay, very good, very good. This one is, not, it does not work properly or it doesn't work properly. No funciona. Remember, the verb work has different meanings, different meanings, okay? The most common meaning that we, that we know about is work, trabajar, right? But it can also be funcionar in Spanish, okay? So it does not work properly. It means no funciona apropiadamente o apropiadamente, okay? That's what it is. It makes, it makes a strange noise. ¿Qué significa esto? What does this mean, people? It makes a strange noise. Hace un ruido extraño. Hace un ruido extraño. Yes, that is my car right now. It is making this strange noise. Uh, you have no idea how. How annoying it is. Say goodbye, your money. Every week. <laughs> what? Every week, my car make a strange noise. Yes, strange my car. Noise. My, right now, right now, my car is making a strange noise, and my motorcycle is 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 uh, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working at at all. No funciona para nada la moto, 
se me quebró una cosa de abajo. I need to. People, I need to. Necesito hacer yes. eso. This preposition to, it doesn't mean anything, ¿ok? No, no sirve para nada. Bueno, no, no, no significa nada, perdón. Eso quiere decir. No significa nada. Es el need. Es el, perdón, el to. ¿Ok? It's just a, a grammar, a grammar uh, rule. We need that to and then a verb. I need to speed things up. Speed, speed up. ¿Qué es eso? Speed up. Acelerar las cosas. Yes. Exactly, exactly, right? Yes. I need to speed things up. Okay. Check the brushes. What is brushes, people? Cepillos. Yes. Let me tell you the brushes. Brushes has uh, several meanings. It has several meanings. Wait. Brushes. There you go. Look, it can be this, it can be this. You see, it has different, different meanings. <laughs> My computer is not working properly, people. Look, it has a lot of meanings. Right now, we can say that it means this brocha, pincel, or cepillo. Okay, let's, let's go back. It is raining over here, so I might need to use my earphones. I have I have to extend the shot. What is extend the shot, people? Extend the shot. I guess I extend the shot. Hello, extend the shot. No, I don't know. Okay, let me go back to the, to the context. Vamos a ver, acá está, mira. El último. Dice acá, ¿qué sucede si lo están? Acá dice abajo, I recommend check, checking the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. Okay. Dice acá, ¿y qué sucede si lo están? <coughs> Tendremos que extender. <coughs> Uy, Jorge, ¿qué pasa? Tendremos que... Tendremos que extender el cierre. El cierre. Maybe, maybe with the, with the machine, okay, with the computer or with whatever you're working with. Yes, okay, extender el cierre. That's what it is. All right. Let's go back here. ¿Dónde estamos? Okay, regresamos. Creo que será la última, ¿verdad? No, falta una más. A minor fault. What's a minor fault? ¿Qué significa a minor fault? Do you know? ¿Alguien sabe? Un fallo una menor. Un fallo menor. Yes, okay. Un fallo menor. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Un una falla problema. insignificante. <laughs> es a minor. Minor fault. Yes. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. I came up with, with some expressions. I came up with more expressions right here. Let me show them to you. Let, let me get my, my earphones right now, just in case. Okay, I got him, I got him. Just in case I'm gonna have him here with me. Okay, I was telling you that I came up with another list or a list of, of expressions that we can use whenever we have issues with machines. And uh, they are here. Take a look. Take a look. Vamos acá. Okay. I, I have more expressions about, about describing issues. Look, 
Let, let me read them to you and uh, then you can ask me questions about them. Has it gotten the monthly checkup? Has it gotten? Gotten. Gotten. También pueden decir gotten, gotten, pero suena mejor decir gotten. Bueno, yo digo gotten, ustedes pueden decir gotten o gotten, no problem. Okay. I need to say it up. It is work, working halfway through. Halfway. Acá la L es muda. No se pronuncia la L. Half. Halfway. Ok. Incluso con la palabra mitad, que es half, no se dice la L. No se dice half. Ok. Se dice half. Halfway. It is working halfway through. It is not at its best. It is not at its best. It, it is not performing well. It does not show me some components. It shuts itself down. It gets stuck. It hits up really quickly. It makes a funny noise. It is old fashioned. It is obsolete. It needs updates, or it needs to be updated. A message pops up. The screen is blurry. A or this message keeps popping, popping up. Es lo que yo le No te metes enfermo, Carlos. Te voy a llevar dos veces una regla. Vamos a ver, por aquí me hizo un error por acá. No, no. Ok, uh, we work with the screen is blurry, a message keeps popping up, it performs, per it performs poorly, and the space is not working, or the space does not work. Okay. Do you have any questions, people? Yes, teacher. Uh, what is the difference for the the is not working and the does not work? I'm sorry. Uh, for the last ones, uh, mm. what is the difference? Uh, the the is not working yes. and the does not work. Good question, good question. Espérame, que no puedo, puedo, puedo poner la, 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 la voz. Yes, good question, good question. Pongámosle acá algo, pongámosle printer. Y abajo también printer. Printer, printer, ok. The printer is not working and the printer does not work. La primera es que sucede en el momento, ok. Hey, no está funcionando. Maybe, maybe the printer was working uh, five minutes ago, okay, five minutes ago, maybe it was working, but in this moment it's not working, okay, the printer is not working right now, and when I say the printer does not work, que no funciona, maybe desde hace días. Okay, okay, sí, sí. Así sería. the printer okay. is not working, that is right, right now, and the yes. printer does, does not work, que no funciona in this moment, yes, of course, but maybe it was not working yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yes, that's what okay. it is. Thank you. More questions? More questions, people? No, people. We're good, we're good. Okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a dar un repaso acá. Para estar más seguros de lo que tenemos aquí escrito. Veamos, tenemos set up. ¿Qué significa set 
up or set up. Hello. I'm sorry. Preparar. Es como configurar. Preparar, configurar, yes. Ajustar, etc. Check up. ¿Qué es check up? Revisar. Revisión. 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 Yes. Revisión. Okay. Como si que la pregunta es si le han dado la revisión mensual. Okay, has it gotten the monthly checkup? Right? Halfway through, ¿qué significa esa expresión halfway through? ¿Alguien sabe? Halfway through. Dice ahí, it is working halfway through. Significa está trabajando a medias. A medias. Maybe 40, 45% or 50%. Yes. Okay. No está en su mejor o no está trabajando bien acá. It is not at its best. Okay. No está funcionando bien. O no está al máximo. Sería mejor no está al máximo. No está al máximo. It is not at its, at, at its best. No está al máximo. Perdón. It is not performing. ¿Qué significa performing? What does performing mean? Ejecutarse. Okay. Ejecutar o rendir. No está rindiendo bien, no, está, no se está ejecutando bien. Ok. Yes. Tan varias acá me puse y it is running slowly. Uh, it does not show me some components, no muestra unos componentes. It shuts itself down. Ok. Se apaga sola. It gets stuck. Esto lo vimos anteriormente. Se, se congela o se traba. It heats up, que es heat up, sin la S. Heat up, ¿qué significa? Heat up, heat up. Caliente. Calentar, calentar, exactly. Okay. Excellent, excellent. What about old fashioned? Desfasado. Yes. Okay, like uh, the word, como decir, actualizado. Yes, como dijo. Exactly, exactly, yes. And then we have it is obsolete, it needs updates, está bien, eso es muy fácil de entenderlas. Pop up, ¿qué significa pop up? O pop up. Una papa, ¿no? Ventanas <laughs> emergentes. ¿Cómo? Ventanas emergente. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's, it's, it's uh, something that just appears, que aparece de repente. Un mensaje que aparece de repente. Yes. The screen is blurry, blurry. Blurry, borroso, ok. Que no se mira bien, que se mira todo así de borroso, no, así. Blurry. Ok. Un mensaje sí, sigue apareciendo, ok. Se sigue mostrando un mensaje. It performs poorly, rinde pobremente, and this one's all right. Yes, excellent. We got it. We got it. Thank you very much. Let's continue. There you go. Now we're gonna continue. What time is it? We let's see. We have yes, we have time. We're gonna go back. Vamos a regresar aquí más tarde a esta parte para practicarla. I have an idea of what we can do. Let's go back to the book. We have two activities on the book: activity number five and activity number six. Yes. Let's see. Number five. It says match the expressions or words with the phrases in the left. Okay, people. Let's go. Vamos. Iniciemos. Pondremos acá en el espacio, o sea, A, B, C, D, O, E. A, B, C, D, or E. In the space. Go ahead. I'm going to give you two or three minutes. Two or three minutes.
Are we ready? Yes, we can. Let's begin. Number one. Sarah, give me number one. Sorry, Sandra. Sandra, give me number one. Sandra? Hello, the small unimportant problem. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, letter E, I mean a uh, minor fault. Okay, letter E, a minor fault. Small, unimportant, unimportant. It's an un, unimportant problem. That's a minor fault. Unimportant. Yes. Unimportant. Yes. Okay, unimportant uh, problem, a minor fault. Excellent. Let's continue with the other one, Edwin. Then the second one, Edwin. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one, check it and uh, have a look at it. Exactly. Check it, have a look at it. Letter C. Letter C. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you very much. Let me continue here uh, with another person. Denise, are you there? I think she's not available right now. What about you, Anna? Yes, um, number three, um, a, peri a period of two weeks is letter T, a fortnight. Okay, a period of two weeks. Un periodo de dos semanas, o quince días, como decimos. That's a fortnight, yes, exactly. Letter D. Okay, a fortnight. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Anna. Let's continue with, uh, let me see. Brian, can you do it? Number four. A me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Sara. Uh, do sometimes faster. Uh, spill things in soup, I will see. Okay, do something faster. Speed things yes. up. That Little is letter B. letter B. Okay, do something faster, speed things up. All right, excellent, thank you. Diana, read the last one. Okay, teacher. Make the two down lower, extend the two. Okay, make... Make the shutdown longer. Okay, it is letter A. Letter B. Letter A, perdón, A. Letter A, yes, extend the shot. Make, make the shutdown longer, extend the shot. All right, yes, there you go. Excellent, thank you guys for that one, for your participation. Now we're going to continue with the part number six. On part number six, it, it says here, pair work. Get in pairs and think of a problem that may occur or occur 
with the machinery at your workplace. Use the conversation from exercise one as a model. Use expressions from part number four. All right, people, let me read it again. Get in pairs. We're going to get in pairs, two people, or maybe three. And we're going to think of a problem that may happen with the machinery at the workplace. And we're going to be using the conversation in part two as an example. This one as an example of our conversation. And also, we have to include these expressions. And I will have to ask you about including these expressions as well. Okay. I also need you guys, I also need you guys to include these expressions uh, in the conversation. Let me take a picture. I will share this, this picture in the chat. And let's see, let me find the. There you go. I just shared the, the picture in the chat. So let me repeat. You're going to do a conversation that will be similar, not the same, similar to the conversation in part number two. I need you guys to use these expressions and the expressions that we have in part number four. All right? Yes. That's what we are going to do. Let me start. We are 17 right now. Let me create the groups. Mm -hmm. Ok. People, let's go. Vamos. Ahí están los grupos creados ya. Yo iré a, a chequear cada grupo. A ver cómo trabaja. Ok. Iniciemos, iniciemos. Vamos, vamos. Todos, todos. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go.
quise Bien. Sí, Cherola. Cambiemos el aparato. Hello, teacher. Bueno, sí. Esto de la que era lo que le estaban revisando, una máquina, nada más dice, no dice qué máquina era. No, no dice. Aquí podemos especificar, yo no sé, con el printer quizá. Your, your printer, yes. Pues sí, es más fácil. Es fácil, ¿no? Printer. I will have to a link to a right. Bye, entonces, you are right to know it is not work and it makes a strange hola. Mira, y si le pone ahí arriba, thank you for Thank you for, for thank you for taking my call. Gracias por tener mi llamada. Thank you for oh. una asistencia por teléfono en vez de ir. Yes. Soporte okay. técnico. Ajá. Uh -huh. No problem. No problem. Someone report by this. No hay problema. I receive, quizá, I receive. I receive a report. Ajá, I receive a report. Aquí en nivel de... Así es, report. Ah, ah pero aquí no dice. Aquí quizás tiene que preguntar. ¿Cuál es, el... es que dice, dice, no hay problema. Usted contesta, no hay ah, problema. Sí. Alguien reportó una falla en una de sus máquinas, tendré que mirarlo. Es, está bien. En una de sus, de sus printers. Ok. Está bien. You are right to know it is no more property. Y aquí que le cambiamos para hacerlo un poquito diferente. Póngale de que... Para, ahí dice, Ram, ahí dice, tienes razón, ya sabes. No funciona correcto, no funciona correctamente y no imprime, y no imprime tickets. Pongámosle. Ok. Entonces, aquí sería... No sé, aquí sería como que usted me dijera que sí. Ok. Y después de eso podríamos... como del otro que, que decía que tenía algo estancado y gets stuck no algo así ah uh, ya yeah, um... stuck for the paper algo así right. the, paper. the paper get stuck 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 uh -huh. the paper get stuck stuck Okay, 
Kids. No sé, algo así como dice, ok, ahora el papel está estancado, ok, no, nosotros necesitamos ir al lugar y, y revisar el impresor, me, posiblemente es el tono. Ok, okay. Wait. algo así. No sé, let, me, no me... let me help you out with, with some spelling. Arriba dice ten, technical, sería ahí. Technician support. A technical support. Technical. Okay. Technical support. Acá, espérame que no. Ahí se lo. No ve bien el teacher, pero. Hello. Oh, ah, ahorita, el... ahorita lo, lo edito. Acá quitémosle, quitémosle. Ups. Ups. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí, sí, Vemos acá la, la, la apóstrofe y la S. Ah, ya, ya lo entiendo. Uh -huh. I will do, I will do that. Ah, ok. That. Doble C. Perdón, doble N, doble N, doble N. Double N. Uh -huh. Okay. The paper is getting getting stuck. Double T. It's getting, getting stuck. stuck. We need to go to to the site. Oh, yeah, lugar. To the site. And, so what the and check the printer. Maybe it's a toner issue. It's a ah, it's a toner issue. Okay, I will wait. Ahí está bien. Excellent, excellent. Good conversation. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good conversation. All right, continue, guys. Volveré. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. I want to hear you guys practice. Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for calling to technical department. Can I help you? Yes, I can. can I you can help me. I have a problem with the printer. I try to print there where I can. Okay, don't worry. I I am here to help you. Can you check, please, if the cable is connected to to the printer? Uh, the printer is connected in the lamp. It's not connected directly in my laptop. Oh, I got it. Uh, you printed it connected to network. Can Can you check, please, if you have connection inter internet connection, please? Sure. Let me check. Um, the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, I see. Can you connect to a network? Network to a network. Yes, let me act uh, activate. How do you say activate? In okay. enable. 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 Thank you. Can you let me enable? Thank you. Great. Now I can print it. Use the printer. Oh, I'm glad uh, to help you. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> ah, eh, faltó el, el mensaje que si, oh, okay. eh, si, si, me, si mostraba un mensaje en la computadora. Sí, a pop ups, pop ups. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I missed. But, um... <laughs> but we, we got it, teacher. 
Yes, I can see that you got it. Yes, you got it. Excellent, excellent. All right. What you can do, you can continue practicing okay. while I go to other groups. I have to go to group number four and group number five. See you soon. What the number? Okay. Hi, are you guys ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Can I hear you guys practice? Sorry. Can I hear you practice? Uh, Go ahead, no practice. Si... Practique, practique ahorita para escucharlos, para escucharlos. Eh, más que todo no no ¿cómo se llama esto? No arme como conversación, sino que Hice, hicimos como una como pasos a seguir si en un dado caso se presenta un problema es ok, está bien así entonces nuestro caso sería con uh -huh. nuestro caso sería con respecto a un teclado entonces colocamos the problem is that there are some keys keys doesn't work properly uh, for the first step I'll have a look at the, whether the keys are cloud or not uh, for the second if is the case true uh, is a minor fault and pass out the third 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 state and we need to replace the pieces if it doesn't work uh, state three uh, we need to speed things up and replace the the kit box. Eso es lo que hemos colocado por el momento. Ok, ok. Well, Sara, Sara is not going to speak. Como le comenté, como lo hicimos así, en, en pasos no lo, o sea, no, no colocamos como conversation. What if, ok, muy bien, muy bien. What if, what if you give, what if you give Sara a problem and Sara can give you steps for another problem? Mm, okay. <laughs> you can do that, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you some time, don't worry, okay? I'll be back. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Carlos, maybe the printer new okay. inch or there isn't people. All right, but also the printer, it is old fashioned. What do you think about this? So I think you need to change the printer by one new. I think the saying is I call evil. Um, idea. Idea. Uh -huh. Good idea. Good idea. Job. Idea, correct. Okay, good idea. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm just listening, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Otra vez. Otra vez. Sí. Va. Okay. Well, practice more the time. Okay. Hello, Diana and Veronica. We have a problem with the printer. Hello, Carlo. What is the problem? Tell us. Um, the printer make a stranger song and not long. Can you hear me? The fault. Ah, see. Can you hear me, please? Okay, Carlos, maybe the printer new in or there isn't paper. All right, but also the printer, it is old fashioned. What do you think about this? So I think you need to change the printer by one new. 
I think the same. It is a gold idol. Idea. Idea. Ah, Dios mío. What about you, teacher? No. It's good. Uh... Yes. So this means that you are ready. Good yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. We are we are ready. Excellent, ready. excellent. All right. I think you are the only group with three people. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are the only one. The other one, there are two, three, four. No, you are the only one with three three people. Let me go to this three. group. Guys, right. okay, are you ready now? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, two minutes. Okay, yes, it's okay, it's okay. We need. I can. Mm -hmm. I can give you that time. Hold it. One minute, teacher. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Finish. It's okay. On, only one minute. It's okay. Uh, it's it's okay. Come on, Danny. Antes, uh, antes del eh, lo borró todo. No, aquí lo tengo abajo. Oh. Okay. Como que le borró el, lo que estaba en negrito. Dele control Z. Control Z. Nuevamente. Y aquí está. Ya, vale, y aquí está. To extend ah. the, shot, the shot. Bórrele donde dice we will have to y pégale lo que teníamos. Y uh, después de extend the shoot, póngale esto, mira. Generate suspense. And, y estamos listos. Después de extend the shoot, póngale eso y estamos listos. Estamos listos. Te voy a pasar. Uy. Ahí está ya. Ahorita se lo mando para que. Finish, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Hay un grupo más que no ha terminado todavía. Y de ese grupo, entonces, en este momento. Ok, ¿se la decimos aquí o hasta en el, en el grupo general? No, en el otro grupo. En la main session, en la main room, sorry. Ok. Volví. Ok. ¿Listos? Yes. Yes. Ok. Uh, Vamos a so empezar. I, Let's go back. Let's... The conversation. What? Eh, voy a compartir con Sara la conversación porque la acabamos de armar. Bueno, yo la escribí, la estuve escribiendo con él. Entonces, se la voy a compartir ahora. Ok. Ok. Eh, se lo pasé por chat, Sara. Ok, no se pierde aquí o sí. Mm, creo que no. Él lo va a contar, Pich. I'm sorry. Lo va a preguntar. Le yes. voy a tomar una foto. By the main session. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main session. Compartimos allá. Okay. Okay. Eh, le llegó. Sí. Thank you. <laughs> es pequeña, pero creo que con eso ya. Ah, sí, lo tengo. <laughs> ya estamos ahí ya. Sí. Entonces regresamos a la clase. Ok.
Hi everyone, we're back. We're back. Thank you for your uh, well, thank you for working on the activity. Let's start. Let me shoot the first ones. Let's go with Jorge and Sandra. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling to technical department. What can I help you? Hello, yes, I need your help. I have a problem with a printer. I try to print it, but I can't. Okay, don't worry. Uh, can you tell me, please, if your computer shows a pop-up message? Yes, the message say the printer is can be found. Okay, I got it. Can you check, please, if the cable is connected to the printer? I can't check because the printer is on the network. ¿Qué pasó, amor? Ya viniste. Okay. Okay, don't uh -huh. worry. Um, can you check if you have if your computer has connect, internet connections, please? Yes, let me check. Oh, the Wi-Fi is not working. Can you can you enable the Wi-Fi? Yes, let me enable again. Thank you. No, I can use the printer. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad to help you. Uh, have a nice day. A nice Thank day. You. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you, Jorge and Sandra, for your participation. That was very good. That was very good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue with another group. That will be group number two with uh, Mayra and Marvin. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for calling tec technical support. Hi, I want to report a problem. The printer is not working. Okay, first, is the printer on? Yes, it makes a funny noise. Okay, please help me to disconnect the power cable in wait three three minutes. Sure, I will do that. Okay, uh, please connect again the printer and try again. Okay, now the paper is getting stuck now. Okay, we need to go to the site and check the printer. Maybe it's a minor fault or it's a toner issue. Okay, I will wait. Okay, I will contact to you soon. Bye. Okay, see you. Bye. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you very much. Both of you, Marvin and Mayra. Let me see another person or another pe other people. Okay, let me choose another group. Let's go with Anna and Andy. Andy? Hello, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And thank you for taking my call, Anna. No problem. I received a report a foul one 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 of your printer. I will have a look a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly, and I makes a printed well. We're having this problem this morning. I can I can to go a check. Maybe it is a minor fault. And I understand. I will be very helpful in your camp sign we need to invoice. It's okay. I will be in, in 30 minutes. And when the problem is solved, I recommend 
Mikey's wants a fortnight. What happens if don't if do not carry over this process? A technician will have to come to the store again. Extend the shop, which generates expenses. Only that, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Anna and Andy, thank you for your participation. That was also good. Let me continue with uh, Carlos, Diana, and Veronica. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, hello, Diana and Veronica. We have a problem with the pre. Hi, Carlos. What is the problem? Tell us. Make a stringer song and knock low. Can you hear me, please? Okay, Carlos. Maybe the printer new inks or girls is in paper. All right, but also the printer it is old fashioned. And what do you mean about this? <laughs> what so do you think I, about this, sir? So I think you need to change the printer by one new. I think the sense it is a goal idea. Okay, I do it. Finish, teacher. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you, Veronica, Diana, and Carlos. For your participation, that was good, 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 good. All right, one more group. That one is with Sara and uh, Edwin. Uh, your first sir. Yes. Go. And you for copying, Edwin. Sorry. Thank Thank you for coming, Edwin. Ah. Uh. No problem. Someone reported a foul one of your keyboard. I, I have a look at. Thank, thank you. No, it doesn't not go properly. Okay, I'll have a look at it whether the kit are glad or not. I verify if it is a mini or fault or what. Okay, I understand. Uh, I need to replace if it doesn't work. I I need to replace the keys. If it doesn't work, I recommend to replace the keyboard. Perfect. Okay. It's all teacher. teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Edwin and Sarah, for your participation. All right. We have 10 minutes. We have already finished the class. But I'm going to explain some to you that is very important that we're going to see tomorrow. We're going to see this tomorrow, but I'm going to try to give you a brief or an introduction about that. Jorge, can you hear me? Jorge, hello, are you sleeping? No, I'm here. Sorry, teacher, but your connection, I think, is bad. My connection? Yes. No. Okay, Jorge, uh, today is your turn to stay after class. Sure. Okay, yes. Thank you, thank you. That's why I didn't talk. All right. Oh. Uh, oops. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado de Fast Participle? Yes. ¿Alguien sabe qué es? You know what it is? Pasado participio. Yes. A past participle, it's a form. 
of a verb. Es una forma de un verbo. Bueno, de todos los verbos. Of every verb. Bueno, acá, every verb. De cada verbo o de todos los verbos. Yes. Well, let me quickly explain this to you. We have three forms. Well, there are five conjugations in every English verb. Only five. Okay. We have the base form. We have the past form. And we have the one that I have up there, which is the past, past participle. Past participle form. Now, tenemos tres formas en el verbo. Tres, tres. Hay dos más, la S y la forma de ING. Son otro, otro pisto, ¿ok? Enfoquémonos acá en esta parte. Tenemos the base form. Vamos a leer el verbo dance. Dance. What is the past form, people? ¿Cuál es el pasado de dance? Danced. Ok, danced. Con T al final, danced. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? ¿Alguien lo sabe? Danced. Ok, es lo mismo. Danced. Ok. Danced, danced, danced. Es lo mismo. Danced, danced, en pasado y pasado participio son lo mismo. Es la misma estructura, pero se funciona, perdón, la misma, misma forma, pero, o conjugación, pero se usa en diferentes estructuras. El pasado se usa para pasado simple y el participio se usa para otra estructura que veremos el día de mañana. Ahora pregunto, ¿qué significa dense? Que está en pasado, dense. What does it mean in Spanish? Baile. Exactly, exactly. You are right. What about the other one? Dance in the past participle form. ¿Qué significa eso? Bailado. Yes, yes. Bailado, ok. Bailado, that's what it is. Bailar, baile, bailado. Exactly, thank you. Yes. For, for regular verbs, regular, ok, listen, listen. Regular verbs, The past form and the past participle form are the same. Son la misma. Eso aplica solamente para verbos regulares y para algunos irregulares, que son lo mismo también. Pongamos acá el verbo try, que es intentar. In the past form, it is tried. Past participle form, try, lo mismo. Intentar, intenté, intentado. Uno más. Let's choose work. Trabajar. Worked. Trabajé. And worked. Trabajado. ¿Ok? Yes. Esos tres que he colocado son verbos, verbos regulares. ¿Ok? Los regulares son los que se le agrega la E de... La, perdón. La D, la E D o la I E D en el pasado. También hay verbos irregulares. Esos no son los mismos, son, son diferentes. Pongamos acá el verbo hablar, speak. Speak. En pasado cambia a spoke. Que es hablé. Y el participio sería spoken, que significa hablado. Spoken. Tenemos escribir, write. Para decir escrito decimos wrote. Y para decir escrito decimos written. Written. Uno más, pongamos. ¿Cuál ponemos? Enviar. Send. El pasado es sent con T. Y el participio es igual que el pasado, sent con T también. Enviar, envié, enviado. 
Esta parte de acá es lo que veremos el día de mañana. Esto que está acá. Ok, we are, we're going to learn how to use the past participle form with one specific structure. Ok, I'm going to show you or tell you the, stru the structure tomorrow. Ok, vamos a enfocarnos en el pasado participio. El pasado y el pasado participio son diferentes, no son lo mismo, ok. No son lo mismo, son, se parecen bastante, pero no son lo mismo. Recordemos o recuerden que el participio es bailado, intentado, trabajado, hablado, escrito, enviado, ok, caminado, ido, ido, ok, visto, manejado o conducido, yes, llorado, peinado y entre muchos más. Okay. Comido. Comido, exactamente, así es. Así es. Exactly, exactly, yes. All right. Pregunta sobre esta parte. Don't worry. We're going to see this tomorrow. Veremos esta parte mañana. Okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Ok, we have finished. Let me take attendance y luego me quedo con Jorge, ok. Vamos a ver. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Andy Ernesto Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, David. Brian David Ramírez. Carlos Alberto nos tuvo. Carlos Eliezer. Yeah, I'm your teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, let me see. Christian Alexander Rivera tampoco estuvo, creo. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you, Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Yes, Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Marvin Josué, thank you. Marvin Josué Cortés. Present. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present. Yes, thank you, Paola Left. So, it's okay. Raquel Elizabeth Present. de la Rosa. Yes, thank you, thank you. Raquel Present. Elizabeth. Present. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you, Verónica Elizabeth Portillo. Present. And Jancy Andrea Solortano. Okay, people, if you have no questions, thank you for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and well, be see safe. All right, cuídense mucho. Hasta lluvias, cuídense. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Jorge. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of minutes, Jorge, to discuss any of your questions, any of your confusion, or any of your complication about the classes or topics that we have seen. Tell me. Okay. In this um, second course, uh, I I like I I like your your method of teaching and <clears throat> uh, you speak very clearly. Um, I think I am learning more things, more vocabulary. Um, right. 
I I I have I I am learning to pronounce good, the good uh, pronunciar bien las palabras o sea, pronunciar bien las palabras pronounce pronounce and uh, I'm very happy to 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 be in this course and with your method of teach. All right, thank you, thank you for saying that. Yes, thank you, thank yes. you. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with you in the next module. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. It's it's possible. Okay. It's possible. Yes. Yes, but I'm not really sure. It's uh, number six. It's number six. Principiante yes. six. Yes. Okay. And that one, yeah. that one will be will be the last one for basic. I mean, or for beginners. And then you're going to continue with the intermediate level. Intermediate, yes. Uh, yes. My goal is uh, finish. Uh, maybe uh, finish to advance. Or... Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I, that's my goal. That's my objective. Oh. No, but what I like, what I like to do is I like to, I like to make you guys speak. Que todos participen, que todos hablen. <ríe> nadie, se quede, nadie se quede sin decir nada porque todos tienen que practicarlo. Yes. Yes, correct. Es correct. And with, with uh, everything is, is listen, I think um, if you, I, I like that you uh, answer a uh, specific person, maybe Diana, tell me, or. Marvin, can you read? Uh, because that's uh, motivate to people to talk, right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. And 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 and, and the course three, I think, um, everything uh, stay quiet when the teacher asks something, and yeah, it is is uh, and no, nadie se atrevía. A, a hablar, ¿verdad? O a leer, aunque sea de mala manera la oración. Yes, o a participar. Entiendo. Sí. Imagino, pero eh, hay que entender porque era módulo 3. Estaba un poco sí, teníamos más, pena ahí. Es, sí. Ajá, estaba un poco más, más abajo, entonces es un poco entendible que casi nadie quería participar. Sí. Si en ese caso, en el módulo 1 y 2, se habla mucho español. Bueno, yo en mi caso hablo mucho español en esos módulos. En el, en el número 1 y en el 2. Sí me gusta hablar español. No me gusta, no es que lo hago, porque para que se acostumbren así un poco, o se adapten un poco a, 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 al sistema. Ya cuando llegamos entre medio, perdón, al 3, un poco más de inglés, y ya 4 y 5, sí ya mucho más inglés. Ustedes pueden notar que ya casi no hablo español en la... En la en... En el, en el, en ah, la en el principal. Con el 4, ¿Sí? perdón. No, 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 continúe, continúe. Sí, como le comentaba, comparado con el 4, que hablaba un poco más de español, en este casi no lo hago. Casi no sí. lo hago. Sí. En la, le que yo consultar en la, como principiante, el 6 es el final. Sí, es el último. viene el intermedio. ¿sí? Intermedio. Al igual, son seis, tenemos seis modos. Y hay también. mucha... Ah, ok, ok. Y hay bastante diferencia en, en, de... Se siente de, inter, de principiante a, a pasar de intermedio. La verdad que sí, la verdad que se siente. Hay temas gramaticales que son bien sencillos. Sí, eso no lo, no lo voy a mentir, pero se ve la diferencia. Se ve la diferencia. Con respecto a, lo, al grupo, a los grupos, hay personas que ya... Yo me he topado con personas que sí hablan bien el idioma. Estuve hace un tiempo, creo que era intermedio módulo número 5 o módulo número 6, y esas, esas personas que estaban ahí ya, ya hablaban el idioma, ya lo hablaban. Pero con ellos pues entrábamos solo para practicar para practicar lo que ya se había aprendido con ellos sí. que ya sí. ellos hablaban el idioma pues hablaban. cualquier cosa que yo decía o que les preguntaba si sabían algo ya lo sabían ya sí. tenían el conocimiento de eso ahí era full inglés en, en eso sí ahí ya sí ya no se habla nada de español nada nada, nada de español yo no hablo español en ese bueno ese ese que tuve no habla español ah y son son 25 sesiones, ya son, ya son 20, son 25. Sí. Son 25 sesiones. 
Pero aquí tengo, aquí tengo uno, creo que es el... Creo que es pasado. Con esto. Para que pueda ver que, que no es mucho, mucho la... la... Bueno, sí, pero <ríe> es una gran diferencia, sí, la verdad que sí. Ya, a ver. Voy a mostrar por aquí, tengo una idea de cómo... Eso que está acá es la unidad número... ¿Lo puede ver? Ahorita sí. Ese que está acá es la unidad número uno del módulo 6 de intermedio. Usted puede ver, acá vienen párrafos más, 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 uh, más grandes, con vocabulario más, más avanzado. Sí. Y más que todo, acá no, no se ve mucha gramática, se ve más que todo puro vocabulario técnico. Observe acá. Tenemos... Pues es que es, es enfoque en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Exactamente, exactamente. Sí. sí. Pues sí, por eso se llama inglés para el trabajo, porque todo lo que se, se enfoca es en el trabajo. No se enfoca en nada cotidiano, sino que es enfocado a, a puro negocio, a puro trabajo. A todo lo, sí, que, se estudia, todo, todo lo que se estudia es del trabajo. Sí, cabal. Eso me gusta, porque pues, sí es, es útil. Es una conversación. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, y hay alguna manera de irse preparando para el módulo intermedio. Practicar, solo practicar nomás. Practicando. Sí, okay. Estar listo okay, para okay. Y nomás la pena, bueno, que no, no tiene ninguna pena de, de hablar. Hay solo de participar, de ser activo, que esté motivado siempre. Sí, sí es importante la, la motivación. Es cansado a veces, pero... La verdad que sí, yo eh... entiendo que, que a veces uno no, no puede participar porque están cansados y los veo un poco, un poco agotados y digo, bueno, están, están cansados este día. Pero... Es necesario estar motivado porque si estamos acá un poco aburridos, ¿no? porque no vamos a lograr mucho. Vamos a avanzar más rápido. Ya con sí, motivación, claro. avanzamos más rápido. Sí, ya uno no siente el tiempo. Bueno, pero esa, esa dos horas no, no la sentí. Y ahora es que no, pero bien rápido. Estamos uh -huh. en la clase 11 sí. ya, imagínense. Bien rápido va, va esto avanzando. Eh, son 15, va. ¿Perdón? 20. ¿Cuántas clases son? Son 20, son 20. Ah, 20, ok, ok. Sí, ya en, entre medio son 25. Y este, allá por septiembre se acaban la primera semana, creo. El, si no me equivoco, es el 6 de septiembre. Queremos saber. Sí. No, el 5, el 5 se acaba. Porque terminaríamos. Cinco, ¿no? sí. Hoy es el 11, terminamos la sesión el día 29, martes 29, y luego sería el martes 5 de septiembre. Muy bien, muy bien. No, yo estoy encantado con el curso, con su forma de enseñanza y aprendiendo. Esa es la, la mejor motivación, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Eh, me gustaría que, no sé, eh, eh, al menos enseñarle algunas palabras a mi familia, a, los, a mis hijos que están chiquitos, eh, que se vayan familiarizando con el idioma. A, a algo que tal vez les pueda ayudar. ¿verdad? Sí, aunque, aunque sea un poco, aunque sea poco. Pienso que me, me alegra porque mi hijo me dice, me dice papi, WhatsApp, ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué eso? ¿Qué es 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 eso? A eso lo, un poco de pronunciación, pero como usted dice, poco a poco se va mejorando. Poco. Se va mejorando. Sí, escuchando. Tiene, escuchando. tiene la tiene la fluidez, tiene vocabulario, solo le falta mejorar la pronunciación. ¿Qué es lo más difícil? Sí, lo más difícil. Bueno, es lo, es lo, lo último que, que hay que hacer ya. Cuando yo estuve trabajando en un lugar, trabajaba en un lugar eh, privado, mi fluidez era un poco, un poco escasa y también la pronunciación era poco mala. Pero poco a poco con el trabajo fui mejorando y ya más o menos tengo un poco de fluidez y un poco de problema. No perfecta, pero más o menos, más o menos se, se asemeja a la, a la americano. Más o menos. Sí, sí. <ríe> más o menos. Y este, usted ha tenido la oportunidad de, de hablar así con, con nativos en una conversación. Sí. Sí. De, hecho, de hecho, mi amigo, mi mejor amigo, digamos, él, él fue, fue eh, trabajé, trabajé con él estuvo en Estados Unidos desde que era un niño y se regresó después de más de 20 años de estar allá y su inglés es nativo uh -huh. pues. si sí, yo con él hablo todos los días todos los días con él 
Sí, en full inglés. Sí, sí por inglés, Ajá, full inglés. sí. Sí, Full inglés. él no puede español, aquí aprendió español. Sí, sí, él habla español, habla español. Sí, habla español. Pero el inglés, es el, él es un máster, él sabe todo, todo lo, lo, con inglés. O sea, que si yo no, nunca, nunca había escuchado, él la sabe. Él la sabe, todo eso lo sabe. Ah, ok, sí. sí. Ahí tiene donde practicar y eso, ah, sí, está bien. Sí, ahí tengo que practicar todos los días. <ríe> ok, okay. Jorge. Bueno, gracias por, por quedarse, Jorge. Ha sido un placer. Y pues siga adelante. Lo motivo es que siga adelante, que no se quede. Usted va bien, un buen camino. Y verá que poco a poco verá, va, avanzará y tendrá una fluidez y un inglés muy bueno. Primero, Dios. Gracias, gracias, teacher. Y gracias también por su paciencia, por, por el tiempo. Eh, creo que alguna vez me he pasado con alguna broma. Le pido disculpas por eso. No, y... no pasa nada. Sí, mire, yo. <ríe> Y soy igual, soy bromista también. Soy bromista, sí. no se preocupe. Aquí no ha pasado okay. nada, ¿ok? Descuide, descuide. Gracias, gracias. Y aquí vamos a seguir hasta donde nos permitan. Así es, así es. Ok, cuídese, Jorge, buenas noches. Y pues cuídese mucho por la lluvia. Está un poco asqueroso ahí por una área del país. Así sí. que cuídese mucho y que esté bien, ¿ok? Gracias, igualmente. Que esté bien. See you, see you tomorrow, all right? Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care, teacher. Bye, bye.